Okay, my good friend Logan, Paul here, recommended that we do a practice test. And I think that his, his, his thought process on this was simply this. If on a Tuesday, oh, wait a minute, Mr. T. Hold on, don't need to capitalize that. If on a Tuesday, what he's thinking is, if you take the practice test and you discover early on the words that you're gonna struggle with, then you can zero in on those difficult words. I still think you should study all your words this early in the week, but let's take a practice test tonight. But here's the catch. In your practice test, when whoever gives you the word, you are going to split the word up. Split it up. So don't sort it. Split it. And then maybe uh, tomorrow we'll do some sort of sorting exercise, okay? All right? I want to let you guys know and parents know why we're on screencast. You know, my daughter, they, they give them the spelling words and then they say, just do your best. Good luck, kid. They're not splitting the words into syllables. They're not looking at the patterns or being, or being logical about it. And I feel like you guys have learned some good um, grammar rules and, and have understood some of the patterns in the English language to help you spell better. Right, so it's not just all memorization; it's it's logic based. So tonight, take a practice test, evaluate Baher where your strengths and your weaknesses are, and then that should pave the way for the rest of your week in studying. Okay, Capish? Nice, nice. All right. You know, one thing before I before I can it. I want you guys to set up your spelling test like this. So you can go ahead and reference the video because it better look like this tomorrow. All right, boom, boom, boom. You're going right up here, name and date. Right? Then you're going to do, obviously, the date. Uh, maybe you do practice test in the middle. Yeah, I like that idea. Right? Because you gotta know what it is. Then you're gonna do your normal whatever your sword is. Right? So I'll do um, I don't know blue group. Blue group's got a trick kind of a tricky sword again this way a week, but so theirs will look something like this. You can use check marks, right? You can use check marks. So they've got long, short, then they've got long or short to the schwa. And then you would do your words here. And number down side, remember, you are, um, you're splitting your words, right? As you spell them. Okay? I want it done. So go home, get a, an ankle, aunt, I almost said an ankle, an aunt, an uncle, <coughs> cousin, neighbor, I don't care, babysitter. Um, have them give you your practice test. Reference the video. I'll give out some bonus points for anybody who gets on, references that video, and makes a comment. 